What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we got two different dive lights here that we're going to take out, test in open water, and then bring them back and give our honest review of. Now I do want to make a quick disclaimer. We are not sponsored by this company. As a matter of fact, I've never heard of this company until they sent me one of their lights. It's called Security Ling or Security LNG. I'll show you there on the camera there and it is a China based company you can only purchase their products online through their Amazon page I don't think there's any brick and mortar stores where you can get these lights um, and they were very gracious in sending us two lights to test but I do um, I do want to stress this anytime you purchase something online you've really got to look at the value what are you getting for what you're paying uh, these lights have a very amazing in my opinion price point they're only 50 us dollars or 49.99 and that's for both lights and we're going to take a look at both of these lights and see are they worth that 50 dollars or are there better options out there so with that being said let's open up the boxes see what comes with these two lights let's go jump in the waters see how they actually work and then of course at the end of this i'll give you my final thoughts on whether or not 50 bucks for these lights is a good deal or not all right, guys, let's take a closer in-depth look of what comes with each light here. And we're going to start with the uh, larger light first. And I do have some notes. I made several different notes here. Um, because anytime that I purchase a product, whether I buy it online or I buy it through a local shop, I want to make sure that I get as much information as possible. And the information I've got here is just strictly straight off their Amazon page here. But this is the DF08. This is a rather large light, if you will, as far as length goes, but it's a very small shaft. Um, it's probably about one inch in diameter. Um, and like I said, this is from a company called Security Link here. Uh, let's see what comes in the box with this particular light. Open it up really quick. Uh, of course, this was the little wrapping that came on the light. Looks like we do have uh, an instructor manual there, instruction manual. We do have some type of lanyard, and it looks like we have three spare O-rings. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and open this light up, see if it, I don't think they actually sent a battery with this. So let's go ahead and get it opened up here. There is something shaking around, but I don't think that's the batteries. And no, they've got a sleeve here. It looks like it possibly takes uh, the 26650s in this sleeve here. It looks like it'll fit two of the 18650s. So you do kind of get an option there on which batteries you want to run. Um, but there you can see when I opened up the head of it here, there's three O-rings here. That's what your three spare O-rings. This appears to be just a simple twist on, twist off light, which I personally like. Um, just taking a quick look at my notes here. It says this light is... And, and I've got a question mark here because on their Amazon page, it says it's a thousand loom lights, what it's advertised as, but there's another spot on the same page where it says it's a thousand fifty loom. So we're going to just say it's a thousand loom light. It's got two different uh, lights that come out of the head. You got a nine degree spot uh, beam on it, and then you got a 70 degree flood beam. So what that tells me, you're going to have a large flood and they're going to have a spot beam that comes out through the middle it says max depth of this light is 452 feet so that's pretty impressive for a $50 price point that can go to that depth um, but it says the visible light will reach 1049 feet now that's a little difficult for me to believe that we can first of all focus that far but that's what's on their Amazon page it does says that it'll take two of the 26650s or two of the 18650s um, there's not much on the page as far as runtime, um, as far as the light itself goes, but yeah, that's pretty much the notes I got from Amazon. Um, just taking a quick notice of it, the first thing I noticed that I actually really, really like is look at that lanyard loop there. That is absolutely amazing that it's that large. It's going to be very, very easy to actually tie off a bolt snap or to put a lanyard through. I really like that. I'm very, very impressed with uh, this itself. One thing I'm not impressed with, of course, didn't come with batteries. So we're going to have to get some batteries for this guy. But um, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with how large that lanyard loop is. It's not too terribly heavy. Now, once again, there's no batteries in this. So this light might work not only good for a primary or backup, it may work good for a helmet light too. The shaft is not too big on it. So it can actually snap into most helmet mounts. Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with this light here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the other light and see what all comes in its box. 
Hi guys, let's take a closer look at the smaller lot they sent me, and I've got a couple little notes here that we'll read through. This is the DF M01 model here. Um, they do claim this is a primary lot. It's actually kind of small, so it's going to be great for, say, open water divers, or uh, I personally would probably use a lot, this stature, uh, primarily as a backup lot, but I guess you could put it in a glove. The shaft is a little bit smaller than what most shafts are, but you could very easily put this in a glove here. I do know that it's got this rotary switch here, this magnetic switch. I'm not a real big fan of those, and I'll talk about um, later on throughout this review why I'm not a big fan of those, but it looks like it's got multiple modes. So we got an off mode, what appears to be a high, a medium, a low, what appears to be a strobe or a flash, and it says it even has an SOS mode, so we'll test that out as well. Um, I've already turned this light on, and I noticed that there is a battery, so Obviously, they do send a battery with this one. Um, I'm a little concerned that the battery came in the lot itself with a rotary switches. If you don't know much about magnetic rotary switches, it doesn't take much to turn them on, and there's a little detent that actually locks these switches into place. So as I turn it, it's actually going to lock it into place. But as you can see, it doesn't take much force at all. Um, so I would actually prefer that they didn't send the battery in the lot housing. I would prefer that they had sent it in the box uh, separate. That way it doesn't get turned on through shipment, things like that. And then another thing that I don't like about rotary switches like this is if I'm putting this in, say, a dry suit pocket, maybe a thigh pocket on a set of tech shorts or a side mount pouch or something, it doesn't take much force at all to turn it. So, yeah, it could accidentally come on when it's in your pocket. So I'm not a big, big fan of that. Um... Let's actually get this thing opened up and see what it takes. According to my notes here, it takes one 2700 uh, battery or 21700 battery here. And of course, there's the battery itself. So that's pretty neat as well. Um, it looks like it just kind of goes in the bottom there and screws on. But let's open up the box, see what all comes with this light, and then kind of go from there. Looks like I have a lanyard in a bag here. Uh, there's two individual O-rings here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I assume that's for your battery compartment. There was the actual bag that came with the light itself. Looks like we have an instruction manual or a user manual here. Yep, user manual for the DF M01. Uh, and it looks like we have a charging cable here. Now, one thing I'm noticing here, this is a C charger here. I didn't notice that the battery itself had a charge port on it and I don't see any other type of charger. So let's look and see how do we actually charge this guy. Yeah, I don't see any type of charging unit on the battery itself. Like I said, I don't know if we have to go out and buy a charger for this. Let's see. We can actually take the head off here. Oh, there it is. So if we take the head off here, you will see there is the charging port for itself. Now, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the O-rings that they sent with this light, wherever they're at. Here's the two O-rings. So you send two O-rings with this light, but there's a total of four O-rings on here. So you have the two O-rings for the charging port side, which is the head side, and then you also have the same two O-rings over here for the battery side. So if you ever need to change out batteries, um, there's four O-rings, but they only send two spare. So I'm not a big fan of that. So this light already has a couple of things going against it. One, it's a rotary switch or a magnetic switch, which I'm not a big fan for. And of course, it's got only two O-rings when the light comes with four O-rings. Well, let's open up the user manual. And I've got a couple of notes here that we'll read through as well and see what all comes uh, features for this light. Here it says it's got five different modes. They're only displaying four different modes here. It says the high beam is 1800 lumens. The medium beam is 800 lumens. The low beam is 250 lumens. And then the strobe feature is a thousand looms. But of course, if we look on the switches there, we will see that there is an off, an SOS. Uh, there's a little lightning bolt. I would assume that's the strobe feature. We got low, we got medium, we got high. Uh, so the SOS mode, it doesn't really give me a lumens on it. I would assume it's at a thousand, probably the same thing as a flash. And I'll be honest with you, I was playing with this light a little bit earlier. And the strobe part is not really a strobe. It's more just a, a flashing light. It's not a, a strobe effect of what you'd think is a strobe. Um, but let me get these, this battery back in, get the head back on. I'll run you through the individual modes here. Does says it have a it has a 15 degree spot on it, and it's got a 70 degree flood. So that means when you're running this, you're going to have a direct 
uh, spotlight that comes out of the center and then you're going to have a flood light that kind of takes it over and that was a 15 degree spot with a 70 degree flood. It says max depth on this light is 328 feet, does take the 21700 and it's got the five light modes. It says on the high beam, which is the 1800 looms, it's got a three hour run time. On the low beam, which was 250 looms, you're going to have up to 10 hours, so that's pretty much on par with most companies. Well, let's run through the, the modes really quick. Here's the high, that's the 1800 loom, and then here is the medium. The medium is the 800 loom, and then the low beam is 250, and it says the strobe, which I'm assuming is what the little lightning bolt is. It's 1000 loom, so there's your strobe there, and then let's see what the SOS does. Okay, so the SOS is more of a strobe to me, but it, of course it's just Morse code there for SOS. It appears, I can't really tell a big difference between SOS and the uh, flash itself or what they're calling a strobe. So I would assume the SOS is a thousand looms as well. So yeah, that's the different modes here. Um, now, one thing I am noticing, and I just now caught this with my eye, look how small i'll see if the camera can catch it look just how small that little lanyard loop is and the lanyard that they send with this is a, a rope or a string lanyard so i'm not even sure that would even go through that and it's actually almost too small for cave line to go through more than maybe once so if you're the type like me that likes to tie on bolt snaps i'm not really impressed with how small that lanyard loop is there there is two loops there uh, but i'm not impressed at all with that lanyard loop that that is not enticing to me in any way shape or form but let's go ahead and get these charged up i'm gonna get a battery for the other one and uh let's take these out and go dive them and then i'll give you some final thoughts So there you go guys, that is our review of the two lights from the company of Security Ling or Security LNG. To be honest, I don't know how they actually pronounce that. They're a China based company. You can only get these lights through their Amazon page. You're probably not going to find a brick and mortar store that has these lights to go out and test. You're just going to have to kind of take it at the honor system that they're good lights as far as purchasing them online. And if they get damaged or quit working, you're almost guaranteed not going to find a repair center to fix these lights. So they're what I would personally call throwaway lights. Now let's talk about the pros and cons that I really like and the things I don't like about these lights. Price point, first of all, $50 is kind of a turnoff to me. When I think of a dive light, I'm typically thinking $100, $200, maybe even $300 for a primary light, maybe just a little less for a backup light. But however, you know, $50 price point, I can see why people's attached to buying on Amazon and places like that, just because that is a pretty decent price point for what you are actually getting. Starting on the big lot, I do not like the fact, now I did check the Amazon page as well, and it said that it did come with two 
26 650 batteries and then of course you got a sleeve if you want to use the 18 650 batteries uh, however mine didn't come and yes this company sent this light to me to test but you would think they would send the batteries with so that is a turn off for me that it didn't come with batteries when the Amazon page said that it did however I'm very impressed with this light. For 50 bucks, I think it's a very good value. I really love the lanyard loop, just how big it is. I love the twist head on and off here. It's really simple to use. It does have the 3-0 ring seal. Um, it's not too bulky. It's actually a great size light for a hand light, a glove light, and to be honest, even with batteries in, it's going to work good for a helmet light as well. So would I purchase the DF08 model from Security Ling if I just wanted a cheap $50 dive light? Uh, yes, it's got the thousand looms, which I love. It takes two batteries that are rechargeable. Great light, in my opinion. This is a great light. Yes, I would purchase this, and I am going to link this light down below. Quick disclaimer, I am not an Amazon affiliate. I get absolutely nothing from you clicking the link down below, but I'm going to tell it like it is. This is a good purchase, in my opinion, for $50. How long will it last? Couldn't really tell you. I can go back through the runtime here, uh, but you know, would it last me a month? Would it last me two or three years? Who knows? I've not had it that long, but uh, yeah, I would purchase this light. Now, moving on over to the smaller light. Once again, that was the DF M01. I did find it very easy to use underwater. The rotary switch worked absolutely phenomenal. Easy on and off, and I could rotate through the modes. And they actually worked at a great distance. So I think we test this light 40 to 50 foot away from the camera, and it actually worked very well in, uh, say, clearer water. In more turbid water, I don't quite think it would work uh, quite as well. You're not going to be able to see the light that good. Um, even though the rotary switch is very smooth and operates very smoothly, uh, I'm not impressed with the fact that it works that smoothly. You see, a lot of times I'll keep spare lights, say in a, a side mount pouch or a pocket of a BC or something like that, and I don't like the fact that it can very easily come on, or even in a dive box it can come on. And I know somebody's going to say, but you don't have to store it with the battery in it. Well, obviously underwater, that's the way you're going to store it. You, you're not going to open it underwater put a battery in. So no, I don't like the rotary switches. I've never been a big fan of those. Uh, I definitely don't like the lanyard loop here. I was unable to tie on a bolt snap the way I like to do it. That's where this big guy comes in. I really like it. But no, I don't like that. And 1800 looms for the type of diving I do is just absolutely way too much. Um, I did like the run time on this light. But I wasn't also impressed with uh, the O-rings. It only comes with two spare O-rings, but there's four O-rings on this light that can fail. So I'm not impressed with that. For a $50 price point, it's not that bad, but I, I'm not really going to recommend you go out and buy this light. That being said, once again, I'm not an Amazon affiliate in any way, shape, or form. I don't get a cent of your money if you do purchase it, and if you're interested in purchasing this uh, like check out the link down below you can actually purchase these lights but i want to hear from you guys have you ever used from this company once again it's called security lng or security ling let me know if you've ever used any of their lots and what your thoughts are um these lights do have a good amazon review they're four and five stars on there um, my first forte is they worked they're great uh, this particular lot here i'm very impressed with and i would actually like to keep this light and use it but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to be giving this light away to one of our employees at our company Christmas party this year. So you'll probably be seeing this light in a new video as well here very soon. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm definitely not going to keep it. Don't want to use this light. I'm not impressed with it in any way, shape, or form as far as me personally. I may be giving this light away in a future video uh, after the new year sometime. So if you guys want to check back in the future, you might see this light come up for you guys where you can compete online to get this light. And of course, I'll, I'll ship it to you free of charge as well. But yeah, that's my review. Security Lean, once again, DFM10A or M01 or M01 and the DF08. DF08 gets my seal of approval. This one right here, don't think it's worth the 50 bucks. This one definitely is. But guys, if you like this review, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it was too biased or if you thought it was spot on. And if you use any of these lights, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the lights as well. Guys, that's going to be it. If you did like the review, big thumbs up. Just hit that subscribe button for me if you can. Smash that, uh, that bell for me and uh, we'll all be happier for it. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.